Um, so this one says an airplane is flying east at a constant altitude of 30,500 meters when first seen to the east of a student. All right, so the plane is going to the east of a student and it's flying east. Um, the angle of elevation, uh, and you don't need the homemade section, the angle of elevation to the airplane is 63.6. .6. After 33 seconds, the angle of elevation is 56.1. So the angle of elevation, remember guys, here, let's draw a line. So the angle of elevation starts at, where is this, 63.6. And then it changes to 51, 56.1. So and that time that eclipse is 33 seconds, right? So is this plane going away or coming closer? Like, what does that kind of make sense? What would make sense? Going away, right? So you can say, here's like the person that's observing. Here's the plane. And then it went from here to there. Right? So 33 seconds away, it's being traveling, it's traveling that distance. Does that make sense? Yes, no, maybe? OK. Now, they're asking us for the speed. Now, to understand the speed, so they're asking, uh, let's actually, it says meters per second. So the speed <laughs> is per second. So we know the seconds, that's 33. Yes? We just don't know how many meters the plane traveled. So let's say distance is what we want to figure out. we got to figure out the distance. Now, can we create a triangle to figure out D? Well, let's call this big distance, uh, let's call this x1. And then let's the initial distance that the, that the plane is, let's call that x2. Actually, let's call this x2 and this one x1. So the original distance that the plane is away from the observer is x1, is distance number one. The, or let's use distance number one. How about that? Distance one and distance two. After 33 seconds, the plane is now at distance two. If we want to know how far the plane traveled, which is d, we are going to say d then equals d2 minus d1. Agreed? All right. So. We have a right triangle. We have two right triangles, actually. So again, here's the picture. Let's take out the triangles that we want to solve. So we have this one is 63.6. .6. Remember, guys, the altitude is 30,500. That is for both triangles. And that's D1. Um, this one is 56.1. That's D2. 30,500. Now, this one is a little bit different, Jacob, because when you do the tangent here, you do tangent of 63.6 .6 is equal to 30,500 divided by D1. So to solve for D1, that's actually going to be, if you guys do the math, it's 30,000 divided by the tangent of 63.6. .6. Yes, no, maybe so. So this one would be, and hopefully you guys don't need to write this out. You guys can just do the math in your calculator. And I would store these as well. I would store these in your calculator. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. So I do 30,500 divided by the tangent of 63.6. .6 and I get D1 is equal to 15,140.3. Uh, I'm not going to write all the answer because I'm just going to store this as alpha A. Then let's do this one. This one would be 30,500 divided by the tangent of 56.1. And I get D2 is 20,495.1. And I'm going to store that as alpha B. So then D is equal to my alpha B minus my alpha A. And therefore, I do alpha B 
minus alpha A, and I get 53,000, I'm sorry, 5,354. 0.8. So that is how far it traveled in meters, right? And that's what I was looking for. 5,354.8. But is that answering the question? No. no, the question was asking the speed. So I'm going to take this answer. I'm just going to take the whole answer. I'm not going to store it. Just take that answer divided by 33. And I get 162.6 meters per second. And was that an answer? Yes. There you go.